Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and this is going to be part two of my Joy Validation Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be covering how we can validate a nested object as well as how we can validate an array. So to get started, I pretty much stripped out all the express stuff and we're going to simulate a user's request. So for this example, we have this user input and it is a nested object and it has a property of personal info with the properties of street address, city, and state. And we have preferences, which is gonna be our array. And you can see what values the array contains here. So the first values that we're gonna start off with are string values, and then we're gonna move on to objects. So the way that I'm gonna tackle this problem is I'm gonna look at our user input and I'm gonna break it down into sections. So for example, I'm going to develop a schema for personal info, and then I'm going to develop a schema for preferences. So to get started, we're going to develop the personal info schema first. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to come down here. Now I'm going to say const personal info, and then I'm just going to add schema. Next, I'm going to create a joy object schema. So I'm just going to say joy dot object keys. We're going to hit enter. I'm going to add a semicolon down here. We're going to go up, copy street address. Would just develop a schema like we normally would. So I'm just going to paste that street address is going to be joy dot string dot trim. I'm going to make this required. We're going to do the same thing with the other properties. Go to city, copy this, go down here, paste and street address and city. We're going to make the same exact thing. And last but not least, we're going to take the state and it's going to be the same exact joy schema, except that we're going to add that it has to be a length of two. So I'm just going to copy this paste this here and we're going to use the dot length method and set that to two. So we're going for state abbreviations. So now that we have our personal info schema out of the way, let's develop a schema for preferences. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to go down here. I'm going to say cons for preferences schema. And this time, instead of using joy.object.keys, we're going to say joy.array. And this is going to give us an array schema. And we're going to use a helper method called items. Now, what items is going to take in as an argument is basically any schema you want. In this case, what we want is an array of strings. So I'm just going to pass in the schema joy.string. So this is going to make sure that all the items within the array are all strings. Last but not least, let's actually combine these two to form one schema. I'm going to say const schema, and I'm going to say joy dot object dot keys pass in this object. And this time we're going to say personal info. And that's going to be equal to the schema we just created up here. So we have our personal info schema. So I'm just going to copy this, paste this here. And now if I go back to my array, we called it preferences, copy that, pass this here, preferences schema. Next, let's actually call this. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say joy dot validate. The first argument is going to be the same as the last tutorials. So we're just going to say user input. Second argument is the schema. So we're going to use the built in schema that we made, which consists of the two different schemas that we created separately. Last argument is going to be the callback function. So I'm going to say error result. I'm going to say if error, we're just going to print out what the error is. Else 
just print out the result. And the result is just going to be the user input. So I'm just going to save this. Uh, let's actually add a semicolon here. Save this. We're going to type node app. And you can see that our data is validating. So the basic premise is if you're given a complicated object, break them up into their individual schemas, and then you could combine them like so. Now I want to talk about, let's say that I want an array of objects as opposed to an array of strings. So we're just going to go up here. We're going to change preferences to reference array of objects. And then we have an example object here. So this is a very simplistic example. We just have a property of called example and it has the value of a string. So example one, two, and three. So we're just going to change this to an array of objects. Let's go down here. And instead of specifying joy.string here, because we're not looking for strings anymore, we can say joy dot object dot keys and then we just build our schema like we did before so in this case we only have one property it's called example and we're going to give it the value of joy dot string dot required so this is a very simplistic example. If you had a more complicated object, you would do the same thing like we've been doing. So I'm just going to save this. And let's actually execute this code, see if it's working. Node app. And you can see that it validates and we didn't get any errors. So that's basically how you can develop a schema for a nested object and how we can develop schemas for arrays and even create our own custom schema objects for those arrays.